First and foremost, just want to really talk about how excited we are about this class. Uh, it was a great job by our staff. We all came together, uh, did some great things. You know, it's a year-long process at the Division III level uh, to really, you know, get a great class. Um, you know, our administrative and admission support also was amazing uh, to be able to address needs of all different position groups, depth. Uh, you, you need a whole group of people to make that happen, and so really grateful for everyone coming together and working with us to make this class so special. Uh, when you look at this class, um, whether it's depth, whether it's particularly positions of need, whatever it may be, we checked every box. We didn't feel like there was anything where we missed or anything that we didn't get, uh, which is a really exciting and gratifying thing for our staff. Um, but when you look from the research, you know, an identification phase, uh, through evaluations, summer camps, visits. It was a great effort overall by our entire staff and we're really excited to have these young men join our program. Talking about our class overall, we have uh, 34 committed kids coming into five of our colleges here at Carnegie Mellon. Uh, we're gonna be representing the Tepper School of Business, uh, the Carnegie Institute of Technology, which is for engineering, our School of Computer Science, the Mellon College of Sciences, and Dietrich College of Humanities and Social Sciences. Uh, so we're really excited about the makeup of the class from an academic standpoint. Uh, geographically, we have 15 states represented. You know, some of the things that we really wanted to do in the class is we wanted to hit football hotbeds. Uh, we were able to get guys from states like Texas, California, Florida, Ohio, New Jersey, uh, the DMV, you know, Maryland, DC area. Uh, but the other thing that we really wanted to do is hold on to homegrown talent. Uh, we have eight young men coming from Pennsylvania, seven of which are coming from Western PA, which is really exciting for us uh, to have some of the best players right here in our backyard coming to Carnegie Mellon to help affect our campus community the right way. Uh, when you look at the makeup of our young men, who they are, what they do, and what they represent, I think this is what excites us the most. Uh, leaders. Uh, we have 18 guys who are captains their senior year from their high school football programs. And of those 18, seven of them were multiple year captains for their high school programs. So bringing great leaders onto our campus and into our football program. Uh, Multi-sport guys. Uh, it's getting harder and harder to find guys that you know, play multiple sports in high school. 32 of the 34 played multiple sports in high school, which we're really excited about. Um, so we've got some great athleticism in the class. Uh, and then coming from winning programs, uh, you know, to have a winning culture, I think it's something that can be taught. And we've got a lot of winning guys coming from winning high school programs. Uh, when you look at our seniors, 22 of them won their conference and were conference champions their senior year. Five state champions and four state runner-ups in the class. Uh, so we're getting guys that are coming from really highly competitive high school programs that can come here in effect. And I will note, we do have some guys coming from prep schools that don't participate in state playoffs. So their conference championship is the highest point, and some of those guys were able to achieve that. And then finally, on the individual level, some great award winners. 27 guys earned all conference awards as football players in high school, and eight of which were all state mentioned guys from their respective states. So looking at our special teams, we knew that this was gonna be a really big recruiting emphasis for us. Uh, we lost a first team all-conference kicker and second team all-conference punter to graduation this last year. And so we brought in three young men uh, in Jack, Julian, and Jack that we really feel are versatile, uh, can help us out both in the kicking and punting game, and really push to compete with those that we already have on the roster. Uh, the group handled all of those duties in high school and one of them is actually gonna also help us out on defense as he played in all three phases for his high school. Uh, looking at long snapping, we have three young men coming into the program that are gonna have their primary positions be on offense and defense, uh, but they are able to long snap. And yet again, we have a rising senior long snapper. Uh, so having some guys that we can develop early will be really great for the longevity of our program. So looking at our offensive incoming freshmen, you know, our points of emphasis was we wanted to get dynamic playmakers, we wanted to get some great length and height, uh, and then we wanted to develop some depth. Uh, that was kind of an overall emphasis of the group. So first off, looking at the offensive line, we have six offensive linemen coming in. Uh, we have Gabriel, Jack, Chase, Matt, Alex, and Johan. Uh, really excited about this group. 
Uh, they're big guys. Most of them played both O-line and D-line, so a really athletic group. Um, we've got guys that can play on the inside and the outside. Uh, tons of length. Um, a lot of maturity in the group. Uh, we have guys in the group that took a PG year at IMG Academy. Uh, we have guys in the group who won state championships. We have guys in the group that play for some of the best programs in the country and in their state. So really excited about that group. You know, that really sets the foundation of any football program, especially on the offensive side of the ball is your O-line. Uh, at wide receiver, this was probably our biggest point of emphasis in this class. Uh, we only had one rising sophomore next year, so was a freshman this past year, so we really needed to bring in some, some depth at wide receiver as we look to build to our future. So with that group, we have five guys, like I said, Reese, John, Brennan, Will, and Maddie. Uh, this is an exciting group. Uh, we've got guys uh, that are big. Uh, they can really attack you on the outside. We've got guys that can go in the slot. They've got great change of direction and speed. Um, I think there's going to be some guys in this group that can help us in the return game. Uh, this is a dynamic group that we're really, really excited about, and I really think we hit a home run with this group. Um, running backs. Uh, we have two running backs coming in. I think one of the things we really wanted to do is be very finite with who we brought in. We didn't want to bring in a ton. We wanted to be really sure of who we wanted and then get them, and I think we really did that here. We've got Dominic and Giacomo coming in. Both guys, I think they can help us carrying the ball, which is the obvious, but when you look at the return game and you look at pass catching ability, uh, they're both guys that are really, really dynamic, and they're different types of backs. Uh, Dominic's a much more of a slash type of guy, uh, maybe a little bit smaller, but super quick. Giacomo is a guy that's a little bit bigger, a little thicker, a power runner, uh, but comes from a great program in the state of Texas. Uh, so we're really excited about both of them. Uh, tight ends, you know, one of the things we really wanted to do with tight ends is get guys that were really athletically versatile and long. Both Dylan and Anthony are guys that are both six foot three plus. They both played both sides of the ball. They've contributed on special teams. Uh, they both actually can lawn snap as well. Uh, so really, really excited about them. Uh, they're really, really good players, multi-sport athletes. They're gonna be really great for our tight end room. And then finally, we're bringing in one quarterback. Really excited about Evan. Uh, he's the only guy we're bringing in. Uh, like a lot of guys on our, on our incoming roster and even on our current roster, we identify guys at camp. We get out there and get to camps and get to see guys compete. And Evan was one of those guys that I was fortunate enough to get to see uh, on the Ivy League circuit. Uh, he's a six foot four pro style quarterback with a, with a big strong arm and a lot of upside. So we're really excited to join him or have him join our offense and our quarterback room. Going to the defensive side of the ball, you know, our big points of emphasis were uh, speed, size, and versatility. Uh, those were kind of the three things we really wanted to hit on, and, and we felt like we checked all three boxes. So starting up front, just like on the offensive side, now on the defensive side, starting where, where it matters most at the D-line. Uh, we have five D-line coming in, uh, Logan, Merricks, Lucas, Joey, and Amani, uh, guys that are really big and, and strong. I mean, we've got guys with some strength numbers in this group that are really impressive. When you look at the interior D-line guys, uh, that's where a lot of that strength really exists and we're really excited about, knowing that they can hold gaps uh, and create some fits uh, for opposing offenses in the run. Uh, but then when you look at the edge, you know, one thing we've always had is some really good edge pass rushers. Uh, but we really found some guys in this group that we feel can have a great effect in the pass game rushing, but also can really hold their own and be really stout in the run game, uh, which yet again will allow them to be multiple down and distance type of guys. So really ex excited about the length and size of this group and how they're going to kind of set the front of our defense. When you move back a level uh, to the linebackers, you know, these are the leaders of our defense. And so uh, we got five coming in with Archie, Gabe, Josh, Cody and Matt, uh, this group is, is a really special group. Uh, we got guys that can play the box, but also can play in space. We've got guys in this group uh, that were state champions. We have guys that were all conference. We have guys that were captains. Uh, we've got a guy in the group who's a state champion caliber power lifter. Uh, we have a guy in this group that led the Whippeal in sacks in, in his entire classification his senior year. So this is a really, really special group athletically. Uh, but I think from a leadership standpoint are going to help kind of be the solid core that the defense needs to have. And then finally going to the back end of the DBs, hitting with five again. Uh, Ethan, Ty, Jack, Enzo, and Wayne. 
We have both safeties and corners in the group, guys that are versatile. We have a ton of length and speed, which we're really excited about. But I think what really stands out to me in this group is we have guys that played running back. We have guys that played quarterback and receiver in this group for their high schools as well. And we got guys that have amazing track times um, in the spring. And so it's a really athletic group. Um, they're going to be great DBs at the college level, but they were able to impact their high schools on different ways on both sides of the ball, which really shows versatility. So we're really excited about this group overall, yet again, kind of hitting on what we wanted to go get. You know, in conclusion, you know, really want to thank the staff again. I think it was a great team effort to bring this group together. We really hit all of our needs that we had, and I think that was really important as we look back and reflect and then how we build to the future. I'm really excited about this group. I think one of the things about this group is they've really done a great job of connecting with our current players as well. And you could really see that when they came and visited campus. And as you have conversations with them, you know, they're talking to our current guys. Uh, so it already feels like they're really a big part of this team. And I think they're really excited. They're excited to be a new class coming in on what we've been building here at Carnegie Mellon University and, and really how far we want to take this program. And they're up for that challenge to keep going, but to do it the way that we want to do it and to do it the way that we all do it together, which is by taking it one game at a time with our one and all mentality and building towards the future as it comes.